Hi, this is Dibya here. Welcome back to Peppy Post video tutorial series. So this is a tutorial uh, series in which we generally talk about different type of email uh, related problems and its solutions. So for more uh, such tutorials, you can definitely go uh, to the description below. There is a link to uh, some of the other tutorials which we have written around email uh, spam or uh, other type of email related problems also so today in this tutorial I am basically going to talk about a very very specific issue related to email spam uh, so it's the delivery of emails to uh, any of the Microsoft email clients like uh, Hotmail or Outlook so uh, people have might have seen that they are able to deliver their emails in Gmail or Yahoo but when it comes to Hotmail or Outlook, there is a completely different behavior and not many uh, ESPs are able to deliver emails into Hotmail or Outlook uh, with a very great email deliverability rate. So what's the uh, like secret uh, of uh, delivering emails to Hotmail or uh, Outlook? So is there anything different which you have to do uh, is there any type of different type of IP address from which you should send or is there any specific type of campaigns which uh, Hotmail or Outlook uh, loves uh, or what's that so that is something which I am going to discuss in this video today so I will not uh, go into a very advanced level uh, settings or advanced level uh, things which you need to do in your content but in this video I am going to talk about the basic things which you should uh, ensure that your email is comply with so once you are cleared with this basics things uh, you can uh, watch my other videos where I'm going to talk about the advanced settings and advanced guidelines to uh, do uh, configuration email related configuration or uh, what are the content related configurations or what are the other best practices to ensure your emails are reaching in the inbox of uh, Outlook or Hotmail. So let's uh, go to the basics. So the first basic which uh, uh, any of the Microsoft email clients uh, generally prefer uh, is the email authentication. So the this is the like first uh, gateway to enter into the uh, servers of uh, Microsoft uh, uh, any of the Microsoft mail clients also. So the first level uh, like entry gate uh, is of the email authentication where you need to ensure that your email is properly authenticated using some of the industry guidelines so the first one uh, the first mechanism to do email authentication is actually SPF so uh, you can see on my screen uh, I have shown a tutorial which I have written uh, uh, a month uh, ago uh, on what are the settings which need to be done on hotmail uh, what are those email authentications which need to be done to ensure your emails have a high deliverability so these are some of the guidelines which uh, peppy post keeps on publishing uh, to its customer and uh, to the entire world so that people are aware of the different email type of, uh, problems and what are those solutions and how to fix those so uh, let's go into the detail uh, the first uh, uh, the authentication which I am going to talk about is SPF now uh, if you are not sure about like what is SPF then uh, uh, check out my tutorial on SPF what is SPF I'm not going to go into deep of what is SPF so SPF is basically sender policy framework so this is one of the email authentication mechanism in which uh, what you do is generally you allow the sending server to use your domain to send email so uh, if you if this definition uh, looks little bit complicated to you uh, so let me ease it out uh, so uh, let's uh, take an example uh, you are sending email using peppy post so peppy post is a third party SMTP server now you are going to use your domain uh, xyz.com and uh, you want to send email using the peppy post server to gmail yahoo or uh, hotmail so now uh, the actual delivery of email is being done by the peppy post server so when hotmail receive this email so they will see that this email was delivered by a uh, peppy post server 
So now they will check whether Pepipost server has the exact rights to use this domain to send email because the domain belongs to you. So Pepipost, uh, if Pepipost is using your domain without your permission, then that's a problem. So that is what SPF policy says. So in order to be comply with SPF policy, you need to add certain records of Pepipost uh, into your domain. So once you add these records into your domain, this means you are allowing the Pepipost server to send mails on your behalf. So that is what SPF is in short. So now uh, any of the Microsoft services like Hotmail or Outlook are very, very specific about SPF. So uh, long back, they have in fact uh, launched uh, SPF V2 also. So uh, what is uh, so they were al uh, earlier calling this as uh, sender ID. Uh, so this is actually a version of uh, sender ID only. So what is sender ID that uh, also I have mentioned in my tutorial. So you can uh, visit the link which I have shared below in the description to learn more about sender ID. So uh, so they have built a uh, advanced version of sender ID and they called it as SPF V2. And uh, in this V2, it's nothing the same records you have to add uh, of the uh, server like Pepipost server in your domain. So once you do that, uh, you are actually allowing the Pepipost server to send emails on your behalf. Now, uh, there is a concept of uh, from domain and there is a concept of written, written path domain. So now, uh, SPF need to be done on written part domain or it should be done on a from domain which is visible to the uh, end user. So there is a concept. So these are two different domains if you are not very uh, much uh, sure about like what are these. So I will show you a, here one example also. Uh, so let's open an email. So if you can see here uh, I have received an email from Swiggy. Uh, so if I click on this uh, you can see the email was sent from no reply at the red swiggy dot in. So this swiggy dot in is actually the from domain, the visible domain, which is uh, which will be visible to the end recipient. And you can see here uh, there is a different domain that is mailed by domain. So which is here alerts dot swiggy dot in. So there are two different domains. So this alerts dot swiggy dot in is not by default visible. You can see to the end recipient, but it's hidden uh, deep inside uh, the headers. So uh, if you click on uh, on Gmail, if you click on show original, you can see the entire header and you can find uh, what is the uh, written part domain here. So now uh, uh, Hotmail says uh, that uh, the uh, SPF needs to be done on both the domains. So here I have exam I have opened a email in Outlook. Uh, if I go in the, here you can see uh, what is the from domain. So the from domain is here. Just a second. Uh, yeah, it's open. So the from domain is icicibrewlife.com. Okay, so that's the from domain which is visible. So if I go into this view message source and just search for written path yeah so this is the written path here you can see bounce.icicbluelife.com so this is a written path domain so now spf need to be done on uh, both of this domain that is the written path domain and the from domain which you were able to see uh, as a user there so uh, both of these uh, has to be complied with spf so that is the first requirement uh, but Hotmail or uh, Outlook generally ref, uh, like ask its uh, senders to do. So that's the basic thing uh, which you should be doing. Second, uh, apart from that, you can see uh, there are other things which I have mentioned in my doc document like uh, DCAM and DMARC. So uh, Hotmail was uh, not very, very like uh, specific about uh, DMARC, but recently like uh, the studies which we have done at Pepe Post, we found that uh, Hotmail or Outlook has started taking DMARC as a very seriously uh, thing. So if I go uh, back to that mail uh, which I was uh, showing you, uh, so if I go to the source again here, so let's see uh, how Hotmail or Outlook are checking uh, the uh, DMARC and uh, DCAM here. So now here you can see uh, there is one record 
this one uh, so here you can see SPF is passed but uh, you can see the DCAM is failed here and uh, it is also checking the DMAR so here in this case the DMAR is passed so uh, Hotmail is actually checking uh, all these three parameters SPF, DCAM and DMAR so you should ensure that uh, whatever email service provider you are using your uh, from domain your written part domain in both of these domains SPF is done DCAM is done and also DMARC is done. If you are not sure about like uh, how to do DMARC, how to do DCAM or how to do SPF, uh, we have written uh, guides on that uh, which will make your life easy. So you can refer Pebipost tutorials uh, and you will learn about how to do SPF, DCAM and uh, DMARC on your uh, sender domain or on your written part domain. So uh, that is the first uh, basic uh, which you should be doing and uh, make sure uh, you are following uh, the all these uh, email authentication on both the domain that is the sender domain and the written part uh, domain because if you are doing on only one domain then there is a chance that uh, your emails will not land into inbox so hence this is the basic uh, email authentication uh, guidelines which we uh, recommend all the users uh, to follow so that is what the basics uh, about the outlook or hotmail uh, in my next video i'm going to talk about little bit more deep insight about the content so once you are done with your email authentication then is what you can go next into is the content so what is to write in the content what type of HTMLs are uh, need to be inserted what type of uh, uh, images need to be inserted what type of links can be used, uh, whether uh, we should send a HTML email or whether we should send a text email. So I am going to talk more of those in detail in my upcoming video. So you can subscribe to this channel, Peppy Post channel, and you can uh, go to my tutorials. There uh, you can find all the tutorials which I have written so far on uh, different type of email spam related problems. Hope you like this video. Uh, in case you have any question you can click uh, the comment section below and you can ask questions or you can ask uh, directly email me also my email address is dx at the rate thank you so much